Welcome to The Artist's Magazine. Since 1984, the premier magazine for artists working in all media and at all levels. Here is Daniel E. Green's demonstration of creating a portrait in pastel. Daniel Green is a renowned master of portraiture, landscape, and still life in both oil and pastel. In 2001, the Portrait Society of America presented him with its Medal of Honor. Daniel Green completed this portrait of his friend, the eminent watercolorist Chen Chi, over a period of five sittings of three hours each. Step 1. Daniel Green draws on a 46 by 40 piece of dark pastel paper that's been mounted on an acid-free museum board using a dry mount press. This initial drawing is a guideline. Its most important function is to represent the proportions of the face. Green draws, too, the shapes of the shadows. Step 2. Daniel Green's goal in this step is to establish the colors and values. He starts by identifying the deepest dark, and then works methodically using rough, broken strokes with light pressure from darks to middle tones to lights. Step 3. Here, Daniel Green develops the values further by asking, is this area darker, lighter, or the same value as the background behind the head? He establishes distinct side and frontal planes of the hat by reducing the values to obvious darks, middle tones, and lights. Using the broad side of a soft gray-blue pastel, he indicates the large masses of shadow in the coat and collar. Step 4. Removing the painting from the easel, Green lays it flat, then sprinkles marble dust on the coat area and sprays the surface with fixative. The marble dust will impart a rough, scumbled effect appropriate to the coat. Step 5. Green develops the cool areas of fur and the warm areas of suede on the coat and registers a few pink highlights in the collar. In the footsteps of Rembrandt, Velasquez, and Sargent, he goes beyond the borders of the drawing with the darks to produce a painterly effect. He then tries some rapid test strokes in the background. Step 6. Green continues to develop masses of shadows and lights in the coat. He roughly sketches Chen Chi's hands and his book, deferring the accuracy of color and modeling of details until he's sure that all proportions in the portrait are correct. Step 7. Filling in the background area a bit more, Green then indicates more of the lights in the coat and on the hands. Step 8. Because he wants to roughen the surface in certain areas, he places the picture on the floor and covers the head and hat with newsprint to protect those areas. Then he sprinkles marble dust all over the painting and sprays the surface with fixative. Intending to suggest one of Chen Chi's own paintings in the background, Green then applies broad, light strokes that enlarge the actual scale of the quoted painting. Step 9. Using only the side and tip of a soft pastel, Green varies the pressure of the strokes in order to create large, abstract patterns in the background. He also shaves off pastel granules and adds the shavings to areas that require more texture. Then he checks the accuracy of the drawing, emphasizing lines and deepening the darks. Step 10. Green's final step is to introduce the Chinese characters in the background before spraying the painting with fixative. He framed Chen Qi by using a 3 8 inch fillet between the glass and the painting in order to prevent the pastel from touching the picture glass. Thank you for listening to and watching this demonstration brought to you by the premier magazine for artists, The Artist's Magazine. Visit our website for new demonstrations and new offers from The Artist's Magazine at www.artistsmagazine.com.